How's it going guys? This is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and today we are going to check out screens for, for iOS. So this is the main interface. It's very simple. All you have is just a list of all of your devices you have connected. The plus button in the corner, we can add a new screen or group. Group is just a folder. If you click screens, it will show you all of the computers that are available on your local network. You can go ahead and select that and view a bunch of information that you can fill out now, but auto setup is really great. You really don't have to mess with this stuff at all. Up in the top left, we have all of our settings, so we can choose how we sync it between devices. We can password protect it and use Touch ID. That's pretty cool. We also have some more settings um, just for a little of personal preference stuff, not a lot. To set this up on the computer side, it's really easy on a Mac. All you have to do is just go into sharing and enable screen sharing. And this is pretty much how the thing works, is it connects as a screen sharing device as if it were like a Mac, as you can see up in the top corner. And when it's connected, it shows that it's a screen sharing device that's connected. This also works on Windows and Linux. Windows is not as easy. You have to download one of their apps or a third party app that will allow you to do this. In Linux, it's very similar to Mac. All you have to do is just enable a setting and you're pretty much good to go. Once you've added a computer, all you have to do is just click it, it will then download and connect to the computer. And it's that simple and easy. And as you can see, I get full control of the computer. So I'm not even touching the keyboard or mouse, but I am controlling it from my iPad. Um, so there's a couple of modes that you can use. You can use tracking mode where you can use your finger as the tracking. You can click by a tap and you can tap and hold as kind of like a click and hold. And you can do a two finger click for a right click. And you can also do two finger drag. Take a look around the interface. Right here we have our keyboard button and all of these different quick actions for the toolbar, which is really awesome. So you can get keyboard shortcuts, including a dedicated button for spotlight. Under the share panel, um, we can click this first one and it will give us a real share panel. Or if we can click it, we can do a one by one view so the screen can actually fit the um, iPad or your iPhone. Next to that is your clicking option. So we can do trackpad mode or touch to click. Touch to click is just wherever you touch, it's gonna to click there, it's gonna automatically jump the cursor there. Where trackpad mode, um, you can actually more like a real trackpad. Next to that, we got observe mode, so we can see what's going on without having to interact with it. We have curtains, so we can control the computer without the other person seeing it. And then we have a, a bunch of other clipboard options, one password support, and a link button to disconnect your connection with the computer. I did notice a lag on the computer side with the mouse when I was controlling it from the iPad. And then when I was controlling it on the computer, there was a lag on the iPad. But when you were actually using it on the app, um, there was no lag at all on your side. It's just on the other side. So that's really not a huge issue to me though. Overall, this is a really great app. It has some great features and I absolutely love the keyboard shortcuts. So I can press the command button and I can do all the keyboard shortcuts in OS X. Um, I like how when you connect it to your computer, it's really easy and it's actually using it as a screen sharing device rather than actually adjusting the screen dimensions to fit your iPad Rather, you can have your iPad fit the computer screen, so we're not changing the native resolution. Um, everything's really responsive and fluid. I've never had any issues connecting with it. Everything works perfectly. It's super simple and easy to use. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, you can do so with that link down in the description below. But that's gonna do me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Mark with iApple Tech One Tweet, and have a great day.